Good day guys, Austin here and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up or install the Super Nintendo. Okay, this also covers the Super Famicom, um, the PAL version, the Japanese version, the US version, basically any kind of Super Nintendo that runs in any country. Obviously the artwork and the actual games themselves will need to be specific to each system that you set up but the actual running of the system and setting it all up is identical to all the different types of Super Nintendos out there okay now we've got that out of the way let's get going first off in order to get this working you have need to install RetroArch um, I've got a tutorial on that if you haven't already done it then follow this video boom there you go follow the link and it'll set you there um, if you already got it installed but you haven't watched my video watch it anyway because there's a lot of tips, tutorials and hints and all that kind of stuff and it, to be honest it's quite a good setup that I'm showing you there and also giving you all the downloads for. So take yourself over to it and have a look anyway. Anyway if you have done that my apologies let's crack on. Okay first off take yourself into the description below this video in there there will be a link to a mega site. In the mega site there will be a link to a file download that file and it should end up on your desktop like the one that I have over here okay so there you'll find a 7-zip file all you need to do is right click 7-zip or whatever extraction utility you've got program I use 7-zip if you haven't got it I suggest you get it because it's quite a good bit of kit um, okay 7-zip and I just do extract here basically that will then make you a folder right next to it most probably and there you will see all the files that I've given you. Make sure you read the readme, there's some very good information in there and also a little thanks to me <laughs> I've given there. Um, okay so once you've got that open it up then go to your hyper spin uh, installation in my case it's in my D drive it's in my hyper spin folder and there you'll see the hyper spin. If you are stuck or if there's anything that you need to know, just follow the links to my, all, all my videos. shows you how to set up everything you need to get to this stage if you're not already here. Uh, okay, let's crack on. So, first off, I've given you everything you need in order to get the Super Nintendo running. Um, I've given you the database, I've given you the um, fade screens, I've given you the wheel art, the box art, the cart art, the themes, everything included in there. All you need to get is the videos from Hypersync or MU Movies, however you want to get them, and also the um, the actual games themselves. <laughs> Everything else I give you. Okay, so let's show you how to do it. Basically, either in the download you'll see two folders. These folders correspond, obviously, with actual folders within your Hyperspin setup. I've put everything in the relevant places, so all you need to do is drag and drop these two folders into your setup. So, highlight them both, drag them over, and they should start copying into your Hyperspin directories. Everything should be placed in exactly the correct place it should be, and it should be working once we get all this set up. So, let it copy everything over, it'll probably come up with a box saying do you want to replace anything that's in these drives you want to click yes because basically I'm giving you all the good stuff and getting rid of all the bad stuff and plus extras. Okay so while that's doing that then I'm gonna basically crack on and get it installed. Concurrent activity is a winner. Okay so click on wherever it is you've got your hyperspin set up already so in my case it's D drive hyperspin. Okay I'm going to get it all set up in hyperlaunch to start with. So I'll click on my hyperlaunch shortcut. Come on. I'm actually rendering while this is going on, so things might be a bit sluggish. Ugh. Killing me. Come on. Okay, here we go then. Right. You should be up to this stage or something very similar. Okay, as default, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, as you can see on the left-hand pane, is enabled with the installation of Hyper Launch or Hyper Spin or whatever. It comes basically enabled as standard, so there's no messing around to do. All we need to do is tell it how to run. So, take yourself over to the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, highlight that one. Then take yourself to the Emulators tab at the top here, and here you will see that, well, basically, <laughs> things are already put out for some reason, but I'm going to take you through it anyway. This should or most probably will be blank unless you've been playing around with it. So first of all we need to set our ROM paths. Click on the uh, plus sign here. Basically choose whatever folder it is that all your games exist in. Um, so in my case obviously it's the P drive, the ROMs folder and the Super Nintendo folder. In there is all my games for the Super Nintendo. 
Okay, once you've done that, click OK. I'm going to click Escape on this because I've already got it set up. Okay, next thing you need to do is tell it which emulator to run. We've already set M RetroArch up, and RetroArch is the best choice in this case. So we're going to click the magnifying glass, and we're going to click RetroArch. Okay, now it's now we've told it that whenever we're playing the Super Nintendo, the games are all in this system, and I want to use this emulator to run it. In this case, RetroArch. Okay, now you've got that up and running. All my games are now seven zips or compressed. Uh, yours may not be, depends where you got them from or dumped them from or whatever you managed to get your games. They may just be the actual raw files, but mine are all compressed. So what I need to do is tell it that basically they're compressed. So I'm going to put this as true. However, yours may not be. So in, if the, that case is false, if you run the game and it doesn't seem to be working first thing to do is come back here and click the opposite one either vice versa true or false because well basically <laughs> they're probably zips are unzipped and it's usually that thing that errors out first okay so that's how you change that one okay included in with my installation of the Super Nintendo I've included bezels and I've also included the fade screen now you may not want to use bezels and in this case I'll show you well how to do that anyway now so we've already got it highlighted here we've got the settings tab at the top I won't take yourself over to bezels as you can see this is already set up to true uh, basically let me just it's asking do I want to replace everything yes replace everything in these files okay so that should do it in the background now okay oh, right I'm going to enable bezels but you don't have to obviously in this case where it says enabled you will put false but I am going to enable them so I'm going to set it to true I also want the bezel to go full screen so that's true and is there anything else I need to do here backgrounds I don't know if we've got a background installed yet but I'm going to set it to true for when we do get a background installed um, and everything else should be okay okay so that's the bezel sorted out obviously if you don't want to use bezels and you want to have the black bars at the side or if you want to stretch it then we'll cover that in a second um, let's have a look here then the next thing we need to do I've also included fade fade should already be set up as default anyway but we just need to tell it some things to neaten it itself up so first thing to do go to progress uh, fade progress at the top set yourself over to progress animation and set the animation type to image only because basically what it will do is as default it would load a bar at the bottom because it's a 7 zip file it would load a uh, bar at the bottom and it would look a bit out of place because there's no need for it so basically if you want it to look neat put it on image only uh, on the next one 7 zip uh, progress I'm going to put that to false again it's just to neaten the thing up the rest of it should be good as standard and I've included everything in the files that I've just told you to copy over to make all this work and look good. Okay, so now in theory, um, the database is installed, the games are installed, the emulator is installed, the bezels set up, uh, or not in your case maybe, I don't know, and the fade is set up. So now I should be able to go to games, I should be able to audit, they should now find all my games correspondent to the XML or the database for the system and see what games match basically the setup of mine as you can see I've got them all so I'm going to choose uh, a game to test just to make sure it loads okay when it does load I'm going to then press F1 F1 will open the options menu within RetroArch I will then take you further through it but first off let's see if everything works so far so click a game press the rocket that should now launch the game come on come on come on as you can see fades working loading loading complete there's no bar it looks quite neat so we're all good there let's hope it loads a game come on come on load a game it might be quite slow because my uh i'm rendering basically oh what's going on come on you can do this no nope. yep i don't know oh yeah, sorry guys. Because I'm rendering, it's just taking forever to do things at this moment in time. Yeah, as I talked about, I'm rendering a video, so basically it's taking all my CPU up. Um, right, this should have loaded a lot quicker for you, but in my case it's gone quite slow. 
just for this example right I've pressed F1 now and that's brought up this menu as you can see right we've got the bezels enabled bezels are just little de uh, decals on the left and right screen to fill it up I've in I've given you one already with the installation of all this so you know use it if you want if not you can either full screen it right to full screen it press the arrows all this is covered again in the RetroWipe setup but I'm going to quickly do it so you can set it up here if you are stuck go to the RetroWipe setup and I'll go into it in a lot more detail there in that video tutorial okay so up and down with the arrows to navigate through uh, Z is to come out of a menu X is to go in so I'm going to go down to settings I'm going to press X okay I want to do my video options first so X into there and then the first thing I want to do is set a custom ratio right I want this to fill up basically the edges of my screen so I press left and right once I'm in there and it, first of all it'll do the left hand side so left hand side left and right go basically move it in and out and up and down move the top of the screen up and down so I want it to fill basically this black void so that's that done press X now I can do no oh, press X yeah there we go now I can do the other side to get it meet the edge and down to meet the bottom okay once all that's done I can then press X again and that's basically it it's filled so I can come out of here now press Z if I want to change the look or the feel of the game I can go into shader options and in there I can go into load shader preset again I talk about this a lot more in the um, RetroArch setup video so if you want to play around go over there there's a few tips and tricks to get things working how you want them okay I don't want to mess around with it here so I'll press X uh, sorry Z to come out and the only other thing left which may not be set up for you is the controls basically you go down press X and set up the controls again go into more detail in the retrowatch video okay so everything's the way I want it to be in here now I know that the games work I've got my bezels working um, of course if you don't want bezels when you're doing the custom uh, ratio you can just stretch the whole screen out to the width for the screen or to the black bars however you want it you know, every, each to their own, you may have a different kind of setup from me, you have a different taste from me. The presets for the shaders and things, again, all personal opinion. But it, that's how it works anyway. Again, in the RetroWatch video, I show you how to do this, but to save the config, obviously if I escape out of here, now nothing will be saved. I need to save the config. So, I will go down to config or press X. That would then tell me that it saved a file, basically, in my um, emulator my RetroArch emulator. All I need to do then is basically come out of everything, go to my RetroArch configs folder, and there I will see a, a new config that's been made as I obviously saved it. I need to re rename that to the name of the system, so in this case it will be the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. And then whenever I load this system again, it will load that config along with it. So all the changes that are made for the um, shaders, the, the controls, the ratios, all that kind of good stuff, will all be saved in that config and loaded each time it's done. Again, a lot more detailed description. I'm rushing at this moment in time because I just want to basically show how to set the system. If you want to tweak things within RetroArch, then follow the RetroArch guide. Okay, hopefully that will keep you going for now. I can escape out of here. Now, we know that the games are working. We've got it working the way we want to. We've got either our bezels enabled, disabled, everything set up the way we want it in game wise. Now what we need to do is set it up within hyperspin. So minimize this for now. Go to our hyper HQ. Because basically what hyper launch HQ does it basically sets up the game so it works. Now what we want to do is set it to our front end. So that's done in hyper HQ. So we'll load this. Again my apologies if things are really slow I am uh, rendering at this moment in time and it's taking all my CPU up if we load it just take a while come on come on it's trying come on come on we got this It does not want to play. Okay, sometimes this is a, probably a good time to bring this up. Sometimes it's running, but it gets stuck. 
Another good way to do this is press Control Alt Delete, bring up your task manager. It'll probably just load up now. No, it doesn't seem to be. Let's see if we've already got it running. Yeah, as you can see, sometimes it gets confused and it runs in the background and doesn't actually appear in the thing. If this happens, well, I've just showed you another tip and trick. There we go. End task on the end one and that should end them all. Now, hopefully, when I press it, it should load up. Always learning things in these videos. Always learning things. Oh, still going to take ages though, isn't it? Because of my rendering. Okay, we're in. Boom. Right at the top, we have got Hyper HQ, one that we want. We need to tell it to go to the uh, Super Nintendo. So, go to wheel settings, choose a wheel here. We want to tell it the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Whack it onto that one, and that should now load up everything up for this. You should be greeted with a screen similar to this. If it's not, take yourself so it's like this, basically. Um, ROM path, I need to set this to that basically where all my games are so in my case it's uh, P uh, ROMs and I should have Nintendo Super Nintendo Entertainment System there we go click OK right now I've told uh, Hyperspin the front end where all my games are now I need to tell it what extensions it's got so I know that all mine are compressed so 7-zip comment no space um, what else have we got Ra comma no space and what's the other one? Zip. That's the only format they could be. However, yours may not be compressed. In that case, you will have to go to your folder, take a look at the file itself, see what extension is on the end, and then put it as there. Make sure you separate each different type, kind of file type by a comma with no spaces. And it's also case sensitive as well. Be aware. Okay, so we've got that. It should now be able to find all the games and it should be able to. Uh, see what games they are basically so next stage go to wheel okay I've given you everything and the best way to if you're using the themes and artwork that I've given you is to basically make sure well there's no wheel <laughs> I like it so it's vertical and not normal I like it to be 400 and between 230 and 240 so that's not too bad we can live with that on that one next stage okay this is the important bit go for ROMs only, go for wheels only, take it to return to last game and also remove text field info. Um, video it should work as standard however you may need to change this if you've been playing around with it. I'm going to leave it as it is. If it isn't working and you've got no videos first of all you need to have already downloaded them with Hypersync or from MU Movies and then all you need to do is point this folder to wherever the videos are for this system. Sound disable that bit because it sounds like shit and it annoys the fuck out of me. And enable the wheel click sound because I do like that one. Okay, special. If you've downloaded all my art and you've got a 360 pad, do this. Uh, 500 384 1 one three okay and like I said follow everything that's on the screen if you've got a 360 pad if not leave it as it is um, type fade and start none okay that should be everything set up now now if I was to open hyperspin I should be able to basically see everything that I just set up the only thing left to do is to change the text in the bottom left hand corner because it may look a bit ugly and out of place. To do that follow my tutorial in the tips and tricks section of my video guides. It takes two seconds to do for the system. Uh, I'm not going to cover it in here because it's just wasted time but it's already been covered in a previous video. So uh, let's load it up and we should be good with themes, arts. The only thing left is obviously like I said download from Hypersync all the videos for the system. It's running really slow because I am rendering so the everything will be slow as you can see. It's not that. Okay, here we go. Super Nintendo. Running slow but as you can see it's working. Nice theme. Buttons at the bottom. Yours hopefully won't be this slow because you're not rendering videos whilst you're doing this. Okay, as you can see, you've got the box art, you've got the car art, you've got a nice theme going around it. 
Uh, the buttons are flagging up at the bottom, so that's all good. And the only thing left is just above the buttons at the bottom, which are flashing off and on. There you go. Um, is the text. Follow my tips and tricks guide, and you can edit that text and make it look really nice so it suits this theme. Um, other than that, you just need to download the videos, and you are good to go. Okay, that is now um, Super Nintendo fully set up, everything included, all downloads on your Hyperspin setup. It will now marry the rest of the themes that we've installed on there. Of course, if you don't want to use my themes, just override it with Hypersync and download all the themes and the wheels and things like that. It's personal taste at the end of the day. I'm not going to force you to do anything. This is mainly just to show you how to set up Hyper, uh, sorry, the Super Nintendo. Okay, it should now be working. If you've got any queries, questions, troubles or anything like that, don't hesitate. Just throw them in the comments below. Uh, make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe most of all because I've got loads of videos coming this way and well basically just help me out, come on. <laughs> um, best way to help you out is do not pay for anything hyperspin. The only thing that you should and is a good investment in is the uh, memberships for hyperspin itself and for MU movies. I'm not affiliated with them in any way apart from that I'm a member, I've paid my dues. Um, it's not because I, I want you to, <laughs> you know, support them or anything. Well, it's a good thing to support them. It's because it just helps you out. It enables you to use Hypersync and a lot more tools. So it cuts hours and it, days, months, years off the installation of everything. Honest to God, you may be trying to save money, but if you're serious about this, just get memberships. And most of all, do not buy pre-configured drives of people online, no matter how legit they seem. They're just trying to rip you off at the end of the day. They're after a quick book. Um, they edit the video so everything sounds good and rosy in their world, when really it's not. They're just after your fucking money at the end of the day. So screw them, make it for free, and make sure like everything these videos. Okay, thanks guys, and look forward to the next videos. <laughs> Laters.